In this class, we will discuss the theory and the practice of that which in English you could call the infinity sphere, the infinity pyramid, and the infinity angle. That brings us to a very interesting starting point. Infinity. What does it mean? What does it entail? If you look throughout history, if you look into your philosophers and later on your scientists and your artists, then once again your philosophers and now your quantum scientists. Throughout all of these ages, the concept of infinity has been explored in many a different way. But one of the most important or interesting ones with regards to our topic today starts in philosophy and was later on by Pascal taken into mathematics. And this concerns the discussion of the infinite circle or the infinite sphere, depending on whether you are talking in two or three dimensions, of course. The interesting point is that when people throughout the ages wished to explore the concept of infinity, even within the realm of mathematics, a need was felt to include a particle, a concept, if you will, that rises above the material, the physical, and such, and rises into the state of that which in religion then gets described as God. Now, <clears throat> throughout history, an important definition of God was linked to the concept of the infinity sphere or the infinity circle. And the definition goes somewhat as follows. God is an infinite sphere or an infinite circle of which the center is everywhere and the circumference nowhere. Later on, the same definition would be used and the concept of God would be replaced by infinity. In other words, infinity is an infinite sphere of which the center is everywhere and the circumference nowhere. Of course, when thinking in the mind of the world of vibration, of the world of particles, <laughs> you believe a center to be at the heart of a, in this case, sphere or circle. At the heart and the circumference by default would be the edge of the circle 
or in the case of the sphere, the outer skin, the outer field. And in your particle physics and your understanding of the world, the space between the center of that circle or sphere and the circumference would be known as the diameter. That diameter, the space between the center and the circumference is a finite limited number in particle physics and your understanding of the world. And therefore, you are dealing with finite particles, finite circles. And the concept of infinity, the God concept, turns these concepts on their head, turns them around by reducing the circumference of the sphere, and we will go into a practice of this in a while, by reducing the circumference of the sphere, as the sphere grows smaller, the center of the sphere, in itself a point, grows larger. The center, equal to the shrinking of the circumference, grows until in the center of the diameter these both circles meet and in that moment when the center of the sphere in itself a circle holographically speaking and in itself a sphere holofractographically speaking when that center meets that shrinking circumference, infinity is generated. And the vibrational laws of physics are lifted. Now, theoretically, this is a very simple idea. A sphere with a center point, and as the sphere shrinks, the center point grows until both meet in the middle and lift each other out of existence. The center of that sphere, therefore, is now everywhere and nowhere, and the circumference also everywhere and nowhere. The diameter has not become infinite. It has become non-existent, meaningless, lifted into the chaotic spectacular, rather than going into the detail, today at least, of what this all means. We are going to attempt to let you experience it. That is, after all, why you are here and why we come together. As I already stated at the beginning of this class, a field of consciousness has now risen in this Imzaya Merkava, in this student body, to such an extent. The practice has been practiced by you all to such an extent, and the preparedness and the openness is there to such an extent that 
practical exercise can begin. In order to do so, a location, a physical and metaphysical location is about to be manifested for Imzaya, student body, here in Europe. This will be explained more in further days, but it is in this location that all of you will be invited both in the physical and in the metaphysical and for the time being where needed in the digital this way if you will for those of you that are spread around far in order to facilitate these next training sessions these next steps where all of the things that you have prepared for can now begin to be turned into practice. <laughs>